Uh, yes, hello, and welcome to our next installment in our uh, series of programs dedicated to playing card games um, solitaire. Uh, we have an item from one of our members, a, uh, a Phineas Q. Engelbert, uh, Professor Emeritus of Medieval History from a prominent uh, Ivy League college, writes in, uh, Hey, card guy, how's about a game uh, about castles and stuff? Uh, well, Professor, uh, I think I have just the thing. Uh, the name of the game is called Beleaguered Castle, and I think you're going to find it a lot of fun. It's an unusual game in that all the cards are dealt out on the table. There's no reserve pack. There's no discards. Uh, it's straightforward and a lot of fun. So what do you say we uh, 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 don our armor and uh, let's saddle up and let's, uh, let's proceed, shall we? So let's first start off with an overview of our deck. So this is a one pack game and we are going to review the pack. And uh, you've seen this before, but again, you we're using a 52 card pack of playing cards here. Uh, as you know, the pack contains two colors, red and black. There are four suits within the pack. Uh, there are 13 ranks uh, per suit, and each suit has ace through king. Let's go ahead and give those cards a good shuffle. Uh, again, I'm using the riffle technique here, and I'm going to shuffle these cards seven times to achieve the uh, kind of mathematically proven uh, maximum randomness so that we begin our game with the most randomized pack of cards we can. Okay, let's lay out our game. Uh, we start off by removing the four aces from the pack and then arranging them, as you see here in a column, forming our foundations. Now your job is to build up on those foundations within that very suit, terminating with king, and do that four times. Now back to the table, you're also going to create your tableau. And here's where you deal all remaining cards, uh, as you see here in the following formation, eight fans, as it's called, of six cards each, and the uncovered card is in play. You can build runs on the tableau and organize those cards in runs. Uh, and the fun part here is that the runs need not be dependent on suit. You build down, and it is independent of suit and color. As long as they're in a, a descending ranking order, that qualifies. So go ahead and build up those foundations uh, and end with four kings. That's the strategy. That's the goal. So let's give it a shot. Let's go ahead and deal ourselves a game, and we'll play beleaguered castle. So I'm beginning with my ace foundation as you see here and now I'm going to create those uh, those eight fans uh, as it's called of six cards apiece. So that's 48 additional cards for a total of 52 and remember the uncovered card is in play. So let's start organizing some things here. What can we do? Well let's take that jack and put it on the queen and then you can pick up that queen run and put it on the king. Put the jack on that queen, add the six to the seven. You see we're getting things organized here. We're putting the seven on top of the eight. We put that seven on that eight, and we're building these small runs. When you grab that nine, eight, seven, place it on that 10. Now you can pick up that 10 run and organize it on that jack. And now look, you've got a queen run that has a number of cards in it. Go ahead and place that on the king and get things organized. Add the six, add the five. Put that two on the ace foundation where it belongs, and now you can reveal that 10 and another two. Now you've got an empty spot in your tableau. Who can take it? You, it really is any card you like. I personally like adding kings whenever I can, just so we have the, the beginning of a full run and no other quote unquote junk behind that run. Uh, but you can, of course, place any card in that empty slot that you find most uh, strategic. I'm going to continue to use those kings to fill empty positions. What's next? Well, how about this five here? Put that five on top of that six. Remember, the uncovered card is in play, as well as the run that is on the end of your pile of fanned uh, cards there. How about that four? Can you add the four to the five? We'll add that three to the four. So you see we're getting things organized and the runs are getting larger and larger. So it takes a little bit of gymnastics to move things around, but you can do it. Put that 10 on the jack like that. How about that 10? Would that have made more sense? Now let's move that queen run 
And we're going to go ahead and place that on the king, revealing that three, which really belongs on top of that foundation. Who's going to claim this next Stephanie spot? What's the most logical move here? Actually, I'm going to put the ten there so that I can get the seven out of line, add it to the ten, to that eight, put the ten back on the jack. And you see we're doing some shuffling and we're getting cards organized. There's that five, which now can open up these twos that really belong on my ace foundations. So continue to move things around. Look for cards that belong in the foundations. How can you get cards revealed and place them on the foundation where they belong? We've got a couple of empty slots here. What makes the most sense? Well, if I put the seven there, I can then add the six. And now look, it's only a two card run, but you can pick it up reorganize it back on the eight where it belongs. Now the eight can go up, revealing that three, which really belongs on the foundation. So you see we're making some progress here on these foundations. Let's move that jack run to that slot, graduate that four up onto the foundation, move the five, and you see there's a lot of shuffling here. So keep track of all the runs that you're building and start getting them organized so that these runs are portable. You can move them around and claim positions and reveal cards that are beneath. Put that six on the seven. Now that nine can move and join the ten where it belongs. How about that five? Where's the best place for that five? Can it go on the foundation? Not yet. Let's put it on that run and we'll park it there temporarily. Well, now I think we're in a position, frankly, where all cards now have been organized in runs. And we can go ahead and get all those cards placed on the foundations where they belong. I sped it up here a little bit, as you can see, so we can get to the action. There's our first king. Welcome aboard. Now we can add that jack, we can add the queen, we can put that, uh, there we go, we have our second king now, we can add our third, and look at this, with that last king, we've added our fourth king, and we now officially have a beleaguered castle. Well, there you have it. Um, thanks for watching. You know, this is actually a really fun game. Um, it sets up easily, it uses all the cards, there's no discard pile, there's no reserve pile, it's a fun mental exercise. Uh, and I think it's just a blast to play. And remember in parting, uh, you're never alone if you've got a pack of cards. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, oh, and be sure to tune in again next time.